Hi, it's Mark Rhodes here and welcome again to Success TV. In this episode, I want to talk to you about how you really do create a lot of the results and the experiences you have in life based purely on how you think about them beforehand. Now, this might sound a little bit soft, it might sound a little bit out there, but bear with me through this short episode and by the end of it, you're going to see how you do create most of the experiences and results that you get in life based purely on how you think about it beforehand. And that is because we have this very simple formula that runs in our minds. The first thing is we have thoughts. We think about things. We think about things on a daily basis. Now they say that we have about 60,000 thoughts a day. I don't know how they work that out but it sounds like a big number but we have 60,000 thoughts a day and whenever these thoughts happen depending on whether they're good thoughts or bad thoughts it controls how we feel. Whether we get a good feeling inside or a bad feeling or a panic or a fear and depending on the feelings we've got inside determines the action we take or whether we take any action at all and of course the actions we take in life determine the results that we get. So let's put this into context in an everyday personal development type situation. Let's say we've got a shy guy. He's really, really shy and he hates going to parties. In fact, it's the last place that he'd ever want to go. But it's his best friend's 21st party and he has to go. Now, all week on the build up to going to this party, he's thinking, his thoughts are, I don't want to go to this party. I don't like parties. I'll probably end up standing on my own with nobody to talk to me oh, I really wish I wasn't going. So in his mind, he's thinking he's going to a dreadful place and a dreadful situation. So he feels really bad about this. So his action on the night, when he arrives and comes in the door at that party, he thinks he's going into a dreadful situation. So he is far more likely to keep his eyes down avoid eye contact with people, stand off at the edge of the room in the corner. Other people will see him and they'll think, hmm, I don't think he wants to be disturbed. He looks like he's got a lot in his mind and people will leave him alone. He'll come out of that party and say, I was right. All the people there were horrible. I hate parties. I'm never going to parties again. On the other hand, let's say we've got a confident guy. He says to himself when he's invited to a party, you know, I've had a busy couple of weeks. I can't wait to get out on Saturday night, have a few beers, meet some new people. But it's going to be a right laugh. So all week his thoughts are about going to an event where he's going to be having fun. He's going to be meeting new people and he's going to have a laugh at the end of the day and he's going to have a brilliant night. And this makes him feel really good. So when he arrives at his party and he walks in the door, he thinks he's going into a great situation, a situation that he He's going to enjoy and he's going to have fun. So he's more likely to have his head up, his eyes open wide, he's going to make eye contact with people, he's going to smile and acknowledge them and before long he's going to be in a conversation. He's going to come out at the end of the night and go, wow, what a brilliant night, what a great bunch of people, that was a fantastic party. But you know the thing is, these two people have both been to the exact same party with the exact same people and yet they've had a very different experience based purely on how they were thinking about it beforehand. So can you see how in a lot of situations in your life you are creating the experiences and the outcomes that you're getting based on how you're thinking about them beforehand and this is what the personal development and success mindset is all about changing the way you're thinking. So you're thinking in a way that gets you more of the outcomes that you'd really like in life. And that's what we're going to be covering in every single episode within Success TV. So I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.